Hey everyone, it's Cynthia Maynard here, and I have another planner video, but this time I wanted to design something to fit into my happy planner for my menu for the week. Now, I the way I do my menu is, I can talk about that in another video because I like to really balance out our food. You know, and sometimes you won't go to the grocery store and you might want to make a green bean side dish, but the green beans look half dead, so you have to switch to Brussels sprouts or something like that. So it's not like it's written in stone, but I like to have some sort of plan so that I know when I go to the grocery store, I kind of have an idea of, um, you know, what I want to make. Now, I'm very changeable when it comes to that. I really like to eat what I'm in the mood for. So, uh, and my kids and husband will eat anything and literally anything. Um, <laughs> so it makes it really easy on me. I don't have to, you know, go, go buy a certain thing, but, um, but anyway, I like to have a plan though in my head and I do a lot of reviews for Amazon. So I sometimes I'm reviewing a cookbook or something like that. So I, I have to, incorporate that into my week but anyway so I have my hello planner here or my hello life happy planner and we're in July and the first I already put up a video about the first week that I did and I have a lot to learn <laughs> but it was fun and I like it I, I like how it turned out I felt like I had enough space to write and it was it was happy I mean it was the first time I did it so uh, there's there's a lot for me to learn too and as I grow in my planning, <laughs> my planning adventure. Um, so anyway, um, so I wanted something I could insert and I thought about laminating something um, so that it was kind of like a dry erase situation so I could reuse it rather than just putting, and I'm going to try that out. Maybe it'll fail. I don't know. That is from Dear Lizzie and it's called Documentary and it's this really cool um, paper pad. I just really love it. And i um, flipping fast here, trying not to make the video too long. But I pulled out this piece of paper. So I have two. So here's the piece of paper I pulled out. And da ding I felt like it was great. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I could make a menu from that. So I'm going to go cut it down. Okay, so I have my piece of paper cut down to about six inches wide. I felt like... Once it's in the binder, that would give me a nice, decent amount of space to write. And about 11, just shy of 11 inches. It's literally 10 and 7 eighths inches uh, lengthwise. So when it's in the planner. So I think I'm going to go with this side up. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm going to use my peg stamps to stamp out the word. And I'm going to use Knight of Navy here. Um, Stampin' Up ink, but you could use whatever. Uh, you want. So I'm just going to find Monday and form my words. Or whichever one comes first since I'm flipping through here. There's probably a better way to organize these, but ha! <laughs> oh, look, I got a fur for Friday. My eye, so they just click together. So Friday, I guess we'll start with the back of the week, and then I'm just going to ink that up. And then I'm going to come down here. Okay, so I laminated this. I just stuck it in a pouch and um, put it through my machine and then trimmed it down, leaving a margin here for my um, hole punches. And so I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, we'll see how we like it. I think I like the idea of being able to wipe that off and write on that. So what I need is a little marker here to um, mark my little hole punch. I don't have the hole punch that comes with the Happy Planner. If you have that, just go ahead and use that. Um, but I do not. So I am going to simply put little dots all along. Like so. Alright. Had a couple couple crooked things, but um I don't know, I'm not too worried about it. Alright, and then we just take our scissors and I guess we just go like this. Just make little notches so that we can slide the 
that in there. And I'm hoping this will work because I'm super excited about it. I think it'll be fun. It's nice not to waste a bunch of paper. You can use it for a month and then change it up next month or whatever. Change it by season. Um, you notice I don't have Saturday and Sunday on there. Um, you know, certainly you could make one that fits that. Um, I don't do a lot of cooking on the weekends. I know that sounds funny. Uh, usually that's when people do do their cooking. But um, between church and different things, we have gift cards. We usually use them then. So that's usually our time to eat out or eat at my parents or whatever. So, all right. Here's the test. Let's see how it fits. All right. I'm gonna trim this one. Trim this one on the end here. It needs a little haircut. There, let's put that back in. I think this is gonna work. How fun! <laughs> You're probably like, big deal. <laughs> All right. Um, not bad for a first try. All right, let's try writing on it. Okay, I found a dry erase marker. We have a dry erase board we use, used to use in school. We don't use anymore, so I was like scrounging through my art supplies. And let's see how it goes. So, I don't know. Uh, clam chowder. I get a skinny. I need to find a skinnier one so my writing isn't atrocious there. So the question I'm going to have is, is it going to mark on my um, other page? So I'm going to let this dry. Uh, frittata. I'm just making this up. I don't know yet what I'm making. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. Salmon and rice. And we'll just let that dry. Here's the big test. When I shot my planner and I put books on it or things. <laughs> Close my bed up while we're waiting. And I just want to see if um, oh my inky fingers proof. I've been doing something. Um, by the way, when you get baby wipes while we're waiting, when you get baby wipes that look like this, save them, let them dry out, and then we can make uh, flowers out of this. It's, it's essentially material. So you might as well not waste it. I keep a boatload of these um, that have dried out, and I keep them underneath um, my desk. And then uh, when I want something in mixed media or I want to make some flowers out of it, I just use those. So a little quick tip there. All right, let's see how we did. I think it looks good. I think we have a winner. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I think it's kind of cool. And then when you're done with it, you know, say you change your mind and, oh, they had terrible um, salmon that week or whatever, <laughs> or you couldn't find clams, then you could just erase it, let it dry, and write something else in there. I think that's super cool. Yeah. Well, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, go ahead and leave your comments down below. Maybe you've done something similar to that or you like that idea. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video. Yay for experimentation, right? And, um, and inky fingers. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you could. That would help me out a lot. And, um, and we will do some menu planning. If you're curious to see what I do after cooking 3,600 recipes... <laughs> Um, I, I do enjoy cooking, so it's a lot of fun, and if there's anything in particular you'd like to see or know about, let me know below. But thanks so much for spending your time with me today, guys. Go have a creative day.